say she she requested a lot. Every time I see her, she gives me a list. But that's um it's just recent, so we can just do the well, no, we can just do the monitoring of the laboratory every six months. Besides you don't feel any problem. That's the problem too. She don't like you. She thinks she's my doctor. You you don't tell me what to do. She does. Mm -hmm. I tried to tell her. Yeah, I didn't try to tell her. You're my cardiologist. Why, why I, He's I my general practitioner. Bring him to you. Yeah, he, she wants to know why I'm coming to you. Yeah. She 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 told you that. Yeah. No, I said what? Because we are having a wellness that time. Then mm -hmm. I I need for for also by myself. I did that <laughs> because. I, she was mad why I don't, uh, she doesn't go directly to the to, car. To, to the, her? Yeah, the car. Like cardiologist. Yeah, like I this. have to explain to her because you're a cardiologist. He's a family doctor. He's a general practitioner. Mm -hmm. We call general practitioner. Yeah. He covers everything. Mm -hmm. I said in America, you wouldn't even be prescribing these medicines. Mm -hmm. He'd be prescribing them, but he'd be, he'd be the one filling them. Because yes. mm -hmm. he'd be the one really monitoring them, and he would be the one getting all the medical records, not you. <laughs> she doesn't like that. <laughs> she does. She wants to be lost. The problem in the Philippines is the ego. Yeah, yeah. Ego of the doctors. But yeah, I don't pay her no attention. That's okay. <laughs> I go for that. that. I apologize for that. But my goal is again to monitor you. Mm -hmm. If I think uh, you'll be needing a specialist, we will do refer. Mm -hmm. like, uh, cardiologist for your cataract or pharmacologist, mm -hmm. uh, I will, I will, I will advise you. Mm -hmm. But it will really be up to you because you are the patient. It's, it's yourself. It's, it's, I'm just here to guide you and to give my what I know regarding your case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, it, it's I'm happy with the ophthalmologist. Seems like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's young, but he seems pretty knowledgeable, he knows what he's doing. So I feel comfortable with him, but uh, with her, she just, I think she knows what she's doing. Right. She just makes it very difficult. Will the operation be an outpatient or? Out, out, outpatient. Oh. I have no, I have no uh, objection regarding that uh, operation. Uh, since Dr. Adinura gave you the clearance mm -hmm. as your um, family doctor, I won't forget. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Dr. Uh, Dr. Yu or your ophthalmologist mm -hmm. uh, knows what he's doing. And he, he will require further clearance if you think you need it. Mm -hmm. but because she has, a, she has given uh, instructions about uh, you don't take before the operation that one what is the medicine that he wants to he already, stop he already gave you that prescription that you got to start taking before the operation two days i think two days before the operation yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. see i listen huh i says i listen when a doctor says i'm done i am they say i listen and you're saying you don't even remember so i cannot uh, Totally. Are you missing any prescription for the Alcazola? Other, other... 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 Um, if I needed these... No, no, he don't need it uh, anymore for this dog because, because it's, just, um, uh, it's still... It's still considered. Yeah. Yeah. Good for the, six the, months. The problem is, is that... Um, Only the alpha salon. Yeah. And I, I got everything filled for three months, so that should be, should be fine. Only for the alpha salon. Only the the because you give him uh, when was that when we are here though? That's the last June. Yeah, that's it. June twenty three. Yeah, that's the last mm -hmm. one you give for us. So she's out of that medicine. And then I think we you have the problem looking for the 
one do. milligram. Because the uh, no, you don't yeah, you, know, you don't you do. put the, ah, the specify the, the timing. Uh, yeah, three, three only times. you check the okay. breakfast and they the, want the word. yeah, they want that too. <laughs> they <down>. just what <laughs> very strict now. <laughs> Two, they to, they for three, uh, for three days two, uh, to three take. Three times a day. Uh, three times a day. Yeah. Tablets, three times a day. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the word they see. wanted. <laughs> that's only. I said, what about you just <laughs> let them put them <laughs> like this? Yeah. Mom, we can do yeah, that. <laughs> it's perjury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They but really just doesn't I'm, dispense in, that time. When I'm in Ho Chi Minh, I, I plan on bouncing into a pharmacy to see if they have it. Mm -hmm. And if they do, then I'm going to think, why is the Philippines that doesn't want it? It's not uh, the makers that are not giving it to the Philippines. It's the Philippines that are not taking it. Because the Philippines has a big thing, and I'm sure you're aware of it. They just, they don't like painkillers, and they don't like, uh, in the you mean? They, you know, here, ah. in the Philippines, they just don't like it. They just don't, they don't, they, they, they just don't like see that. a need for it. And, uh, so... The one milligram? Anything, any kind of pain medicine, they're not, they're not ready to give you, uh, even, even look at us, in America, we go into the, drugstore and we'll buy a jug of 100 or 500 Tylenol. You can't do that here. No. You're going to go mm -hmm. and you got to go to a doctor, get a prescription, mm -hmm. take it to them, and then you're going to say, well, how many do you want? One or two? Mm -hmm. One or two. I take two at a time. Mm -hmm. So why would I only want two? They will not dispense that, that much. much. Much, yeah, I know. <coughs> yeah, Very I'm going to give you a 30-day supply. So if you put down two a day for two a day, that'd be uh, 60 that they would fill it for, and that's it. They are getting better, though. Yeah, they, they have made progress. You're very, uh, very strict, the Philippines, though, but uh, their house still people can get <laughs> for during yeah, they have still they can take it, like, yeah. Sometimes <coughs> they they found a way. They can also find <laughs> because finally, the last time I was here, for any length of time, they would give you over thirty a month of any pills. And that's what they, because they thought the law was 30 pills a month. That's it. Not 30 doses, 30 pills. 30 pills, 30 tablets. Yeah. That's what they thought. But that wasn't the case. Because if you're taking something four times a day, if your doctor prescribes one pill four times a day, they wouldn't fill it. Mm -hmm. They'd say, no, I can't give you no more than 30. You try to explain to them, well, if I'm taking them four times a day, or three times a day, how long is that going to last? And, oh, sorry, that's all I can give you. Like I said, I had to actually go to a pharmacist and have the manager at the pharmacy call Medea. I said, why don't you get on the, do me a favor, get on the phone, call Medea and tell him what you're telling me. Was it your maintenance medication or an antibiotic? That was actually the same thing, the Alprazolam. That was the one that, was, that they were doing it with. And uh, so he got on the phone and he called and, and he actually put it on the loudspeaker. He wasn't trying to hide anything. And they were both speaking English and he said, um, I got a patient here that wants 90 mm -hmm. instead of 30. And he, I told him I couldn't do it. And, and the guy right away on the other lines was saying, why? What did the doctor prescribe? And he said three a day. And he mm -hmm. said, well, if you prescribe three a day, then give him three a day for 30 days. So he did. Whatever is in the prescription, they should dispense it. Yeah. Sometimes, like I said, that, that was something that 
I just had to really get, fix myself. Just finally get a pharmacist that would sit down on the phone and call me and say, what do you mean by this? And I kind of blame it on whoever trained the pharmacist too to do that because whoever trained the people that trained the pharmacist, they told those people wrong, and then they went to the pharmacy and told the pharmacies wrong. So they were just following orders. It's, it's like now, you go to a, uh, I just from there, you can go to a McDonald's and say, I, I want uh, a hamburger, french fries, and a, a water. No, I don't want a bottle of water, just tap, just regular, um, what they call it? Here they call it, um, in America we would call it tap water, but it's actually service water. Service water. Service water. And <laughs> I've actually had them tell me, no, we can't give you service water. And I'd say, why? And they'd say, because it's, it's, it's no, it's you as a, in the counter, the, mm -hmm. they have no uh, service water in the, <laughs> in the cash register, so that they mean it's uh, supposed to be get it on, uh, um, but they don't explain to mm -hmm. him that uh, you can get only their sir, <laughs> like this. <laughs> they will give you, but they cannot go inside to get the service yeah, water. Yeah, they have a, a service water, but they, uh, have to to you. they cannot serve it oh, into I know, the customer disturbed because the. I seen the woman that was bringing the order. I asked her, but can I get some service water? If it is bottle, yes. they will give it for you. Because you wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> But every time uh, she say uh, a water like this, this uh, she's looking the water. <laughs> Where's my water? <laughs> and God, they will not give you water <laughs> because it's not included in the <laughs> your payment. <laughs> it's for free. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I press the five hundred microgram tablet, sir. Uh, uh, Sir Walter, you will take two tablets three times a day. Mm -hmm. So I give uh, 180 tablets. And also continue um, all that is written on the prescription. Mm -hmm. 